Okay, welcome to Geography 12 Spatial Analysis. This video is just going to be a brief uh, introduction and tour to ArcGIS Pro and um, some uh, recommendations for buttons and settings and, and kind of best practices for starting a lab. So what I highly recommend doing if you don't already have is make a, a folder on your desktop for the uh, for all the labs for this class. So you're just going to right click on your desktop new folder, call it Jog12, make it easy for you, um, and you're going to have that. And then everything that you download and save and work on for this class, just put in there. Um, if you are uh, more particular with your file management system, I am. I, I, I don't actually save all my stuff on the desktop like that. Um, then you know do whatever but uh, if you're not super uh, good with with file management I recommend doing this uh, it just makes everything easier to find and then um, you're going to end up with uh, here's my actual file management uh, I've got a couple different drives don't worry about it um, so you're gonna download uh, the lab one folder uh, for this one it's a zipped file uh, let me just dump it into this one. Okay, so you download it. It's into your Geog 12 folder. Uh, you're going to right click on that zipped folder and extract and extract it to that folder. It does that. Great. Here it is. So now you have the, the zipped one and the open one. The zipped one, you can open it. You can look around in it, but uh, the GIS programs do not want to work with it while it's zipped. It'll it'll tell you that it's locked, um, and you can't save to it, you can't write to it, you can't open it. So you always work with the unzipped version. Um, if you wanted to, you could probably delete this one. Um, let me make sure that's not my only one. No, cool. I've got a copy. Uh, yeah, let's just for fun delete. Um, all right, open up this extracted one, and we've got. Uh, the the pro ArcGIS Pro when you start a project um, it, it creates some things for you. Um, let's open up the outline first for the lab. So the outline, so the outline opens up and it looks like this. Um, lab one, open Art Pro and log in. Uh, tour buttons. That's all that this video is going to be. Going to have a separate video for the lab with with all the rest of it. Um, okay, so to open it up, to start off with, you could go um, your start menu and search for ArcGIS Pro and it'll pop up. If you have ArcMap installed, that'll pop up too. This map, I actually give you a project file. I don't in all of them. Um, in here, uh, you've got this index folder. Uh, Pro uses that to, um, to save stuff as you're processing. It actually speeds up. Uh, the software's use a little bit, so that's nice. You got a geo database, uh, which you should have learned about in uh, your intro geography class or intro GIS class. That's storing all of our data when you open it in Windows Explorer. It doesn't look like anything. It's just you know a bunch of junk because it's meant to be open in the software. You've got a project file, which is if you've come from uh, desktop, this is like an MXD. So the, the ArcGIS project file, that, think of that as the new MXD. You've got a toolbox, which we'll actually use later, and then the Word document outline here. So let's double click on the project file. If you just installed Pro, it might take a minute to initialize and load up. And then you might also need to log in. Um, notice I'm already logged in. If you are not logged in, do that. Um, you're going to use your account that is linked to the organization. So it, like it should say PCC next to it because that's who you're connected through. That's who's paying for your program. And it loads up. Okay, so it eventually loads up. Uh, you log in, and uh, when you open yours up, it's not going to look like uh, dark like this. Um, I want to tour you through some of the buttons first, and I'll show you how to make it dark like this if you want to. Um, so if you're coming from desktop, this is going to be a little bit different. It's got 
it, do, it does have all the same buttons that you're used to. They're just in different places. Um, important things on the left side is the table of contents. Table of contents has the data for whatever map you're looking at. Um, on the right side is catalog. Now, um, what you'll find in Pro is on the right side that a bunch of features and tools kind of pop up over here as you use them. Um, symbology will be here. Uh, if you open up an attribute table, it automatically docks at the bottom right here. And we'll go into that later. Um, you have some attribute things, add field is here, um, calculate field is here, s attribute selection, switch. Um, one of the nice things about Pro is you can actually edit um, without starting an edit session like the previous version. So like I want to change this. Uh, you could do that. I'm not going to. Don't change state data. You could break stuff. Um, <laughs> but if I change something, uh, I could. And then you get rid of it. Close right here. Um, and then uh, the way that Pro is structured is it's got these adaptive panes. Um, it's, it's considered a flexible interface, and it's actually very similar to Microsoft Word. So you might remember using older versions of Word, and then it's, it's really hard to find stuff. Pro is very, very similar, and I think that's a helpful way to think of stuff, where you've got home is map, file is project, and look, the same thing even comes up. So they almost ripped off the design of Word, um, or just thought, okay, people are used to this, this is the way that uh, interfaces are going. You got the back arrow, back arrow, it's the same. Um, so that the idea is they hide buttons that they think you don't need when you when they think you don't need them. Um, so map, explore, copy paste, bookmarks, uh, and change your base map, add data. This is should be familiar. Um, your selections, select by attributes, location. That's nice. It's the selection uh, tab here. Um, inquiries, locates, coordinate conversion, zoom. Uh, work offline, so you are uh, synchronized online right now. Insert. This is going to be insert new data frame. Or think of that as like, yeah, new data view, new data frame. This is new layout. Think of that as layout view. If you're coming from desktop, toolbox, uh, import layout, that's like importing MXD. We'll use that later. Folder connections, add a folder. And then you can add these map notes. This is kind of like uh, ArcGIS online. Um, measurements, that's nice. Analysis, uh, we'll be using this a lot in this class, but this is a lot of the different toolbox stuff. Um, here's some of the geoprocessing tools you're familiar with. Uh, view, uh, yeah, we'll use, some of this is helpful. Um, you, you probably won't use a lot of this. Uh, edit, so for editing things, um, this is how you can quickly edit features. Um, one of the, the important things is, is for labeling. Uh, used to be you convert to annotation. Now you edit label annotation in the editor tab. So you have to do edit annotation here. That's a different thing and, and took me a while to actually find that. Uh, imagery, this is for uh, rasters. We'll be using this a lot in the class. Share, this is uh, kind of your export stuff. So you can share geoprocessing functions and layers and upload it all to ArcGIS Online. Uh, you can upload things to ArcGIS Online. Um, and then there's just your normal export. Okay, and notice it popped up on the right side here. It's docked, and you can go back to catalog or export or close it. Um, and then when you have things selected, like California here, you have this, this special pane that pops up for appearance. Transparency adjustment is here. Um, that's in a new spot as well. That took me some time to find. So you can make it transparent in that spot. Um, symbology is there. Labeling shows up right here. Data, uh, looking at the attribute table. So you'll get used to, hopefully, you'll get used to this adaptive pane system. Um, again, all the tools are there from desktop, they're just in different places, and it, it might take some Googling. Um, I do some Googling occasionally of like, where, where did this thing go? Um, it, it took me the longest time to figure out where annotation was. 
as well as the uh, oh that transparency button that disappeared. Okay, so some other um, parts of Pro. Uh, open save as cool map templates. Uh, global scene and local scene. These are for 3D mapping. The difference between these local does uh, the web mercator projection that um, looks like this, so it's square, but allows you to do it in 3D. Globe does a 3D uh, like Google Earth style, so it's an actual round globe instead of the the flat web mercator map. So that's the difference between the, between those two. But those are specifically for 3D. Um, those used to be in uh, Arc View is what they they were. So it's kind of a different program, but they've combined it. Catalog is like Arc Catalog Map is what we were just in. Um, open save as portals. Okay, so this is what you're signed in through. So let's say you you are have your PCC account, but you also got a job somewhere else. And so you're members of two different organizations. Uh, you can save and upload and, and download things between multiple organizations or sign-ins. Licensing. Um, this tells you what you have, um, when things expire. Uh, in this class, you'll want geostatistical analyst, um, network analyst, spatial analyst, uh, everything else, meh, I, you're alright. Options, uh, current settings, so this tells you your default locations. Units, you can change your, uh, the units for things, that's helpful. Um, tasks. Uh, this is actually a really nice task history. If, if you're running processes, it builds a history for it, and, and here's a, a default output for those tasks. Um, startup. Uh, how do you want it to start up? Do you have a default project you want it to open every time? Uh, create projects in default places. You can set those up to you, that folder that you created on the desktop. Application theme. Uh, mine is on dark. Its default is light. Um, if you're staring at the map for hours and hours. This dark mode kind of helps your eyes. It's it's real nice. Um, do you want to help them collect data? Uh, how many times? Uh, save a backup. If your computer crashes a lot, you might want to save a backup more often. Uh, map and scene. Custom base map so you can load up with a custom map each time. Um, navigation. Selection. How do things select? Editing. How do you save different versions? Do you overwrite old versions? Versioning is very important. Uh, Geoprocessing, where do you want your outputs to go? Uh, where are you located? I didn't select it. Share and download, um, where things end up. Display. Uh, if you have a nice computer with a graphics card, you want to make sure that, uh, especially for raster data and 3D stuff, that, that Pro is using your graphics card, so you should allow it to do that here. Um, so I'm going to do that. Oh, I'm not going to do it right now. <laughs> uh, rendering quality, but uh, let, it, let it use your PC hardware if you have it. Um, save layouts. How to import CAD stuff. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, Customize the ribbon. So if you find that there are things in Pro that you missed that uh, you don't have, or from, from desktop that you miss in Pro, you can actually add them and create custom buttons here. So that's pretty nice. One of the things that I added was the uh, the, the drag to zoom. Um, so I added a button for that. Uh, you can, you don't have to. Okay, so that's options. Um, Python, you can import Python scripts. I recommend that, that JS students take a Python class. Uh, you can add in stuff there about uh, updates take a while. Do that before you go to bed. I'm not going to update it now. Um, okay, that's good for our tour. Uh, go on to the next video for the actual lab directions, um, part three and on.